Hi guys, welcome to this episode and today we're going to show you how to properly prepare and coat your wings. We have a very nice Focus RS inside with uni black wheels and tricky. So we're going to lift them up, take up the wheels first and then start the prep. I did some taping on the bolt, not to damage the black woods. You can buy these bushings, but when you don't have it, just give it a round of tape. Once we have loosened the bolts, we can take up the rim. So I do it by hand. You can buy these um, metal pins, which you can screw in to guide your wheel off. Because what happens frequently is when people are taking wheels off, they hit with the wheel the caliper, paint chips off and your caliper is done. So now we have to be very careful. If you don't have anybody else to ask to take it off, ask some help not to ruin nicely painted calipers. So be aware. The wheel is off. Um, while the wheels, the wheels are off your car, it's a great opportunity to give your wheel arches a proper clean and for sure to coat the brake calipers as well. You can use Gion rim for that and the preparation we will show later, but it's kind of the same preparation as we do on the wheels. Properly clean, properly prep and degrease, and then you can coat it. We're gonna start cleaning the wheel. The wheel is pretty dirty. We're gonna completely dry, spray it with iron. Use a liberate amount. Meanwhile, we take a Gion tire, and while we're at it, we're also cleaning inside of this tire. Spray already the outside. Okay. We take our Gion brush, and it's very easy to follow the lines without scratching the paintwork. I'm gonna take iron for the front. So give it two to three minutes to properly let the iron removal be done properly. And then we're gonna rinse it and respray iron again to make sure that every part of iron is off it before we start prepping and coating wood. Ten minutes later and we're back in the studio, we used Gion Tar on the inside. When necessary, you can use clay. In this case, it was not necessary. The wheel is still damp, the tire is still wet and clean, uh, inside as well. So I'm now gonna prep the wheel before we start the coating procedure. So what I like to do is, even when the wheel is still a little bit of, uh, has still a little bit of water on it, I take Gion Prep and I liberally spray Gion Prep everywhere on the wheel, so that I make advantage of wrapping the wheel with a little bit of water on it, it doesn't matter just to make sure we do uh, two wipe downs anyway. And we do the same on the inside. I spray it with the Gion Prep. And now we're gonna take some bolt wipes and give this a final wipe. So I take multiple bolt wipes and I start wiping it dry properly with the first one. And then I will do the procedure with the second and if necessary with a third one to have it squeaky clean and degreased properly for the coating. So we take out the emblems because I don't want any moisture to come out while we are coating. It's just a push on the backside and the emblem is out. So make sure everything is squeaky clean. So now when the wheel is properly prepped, I left some stuff on it just to show you something. So I'm gonna take a light, our Gion Prism light. And with this light, we're gonna inspect how bad the wheel is and if we haven't forgotten something to clean off so that our coating can bounce properly. So it's a black wheel. Pictures on Facebook or social media, they look great. So I will show you what improper washing and using the improper brushes can do to a black wheel. So that's why when we explain how to clean wheels, we try to clean coated wheels or new wheels as touchless as possible. This is the reason. 
So on purpose, I also left some stuff and dirt inside the wheel just to show you that you don't see it when you don't inspect it. But in between the spokes, when you zoom in with the camera, you will see there is still a lot of dirt there. When you don't clean it, the coating cannot bond. And this is where you want the coating to work for more easy cleaning of your wheels. So make sure to double check your prep. Whether you have black wheels or gray wheels, in the areas where there is a lot of brake dust or has been a lot of brake dust, it's really important to get them squeaky clean. So what I'm gonna do before we really start the coating, afterwards we don't have a second chance, I'm gonna take some um, GM prep and I put it on my towel and I will go over every single corner on the wheel. So in every single corner, I'm gonna really push hard to make sure that it's squeaky clean because this is the place where all the contaminants bond and this is the place where the um, the iron particles get stuck really hard. So make sure these corner edges inside the bolts in between the spokes are really done twice if necessary three times before you start applying any coat. Prepping is done. We're gonna start coating. We have Gion rim. So in the box, we have the suede applicators. So we have the rim bottle. I'm gonna open it. There we go. Make sure you wear gloves when you apply any coating or even using any chemical. I'm gonna take for sure two GM bottle wipes. I always try to start by the valve and work my way in sections when you have for sure a black and um, kind of complex spokes. So, I put it on the sweat applicator, a liberal amount of product, and I start by applying it. I'm not going to wait any longer to try to wipe off this part. So I take a brand new bald wipe and we're going to level and remove the coating. So no waiting needed. Every time after my first towel, I take a second fresh towel and do a final wipe after that again. This is just a secure wipe to make sure that I have no leftovers and will have no high spots or differences in colors. I'll show you a little bit how it looks when we can take the lights. And when you come over with the camera, I can show you from here, when you're from this angle. We started with the valve. We worked our way up this way. So we have a much darker and nicer looking rim on this side than we have on this side. Of course it's scratched, but this is something from previous car washes. But the look of the rim is much nicer and much deeper and will for sure be much easier to maintain. So now we will continue to proceed in thirds until we, until we finished the front and then I'll get back to you with the back. So for the inside of the rim, it's really easy to use a block because it's a flat surface and I like to really saturate uh, my suede applicator with a pretty good amount of product. And on the inside of the rim, uh, I do like this and I go quick over it to make it really, really thick layer. So I do half of the wheel. In this case, I have some reference points, which are these. And now uh, I take my first hour. Okay, the wheel is fully coated inside outside, and I'm gonna do a check now with our Gion Prism, but with our diffuser cap, I'm gonna put it on just to make sure I have no high spots, so I don't want to overlight it. But I'm gonna give some diffuse light, use it with an angle, and check if I don't have any high spots left on this black wheel. If you have, you will still have the time to remove it, to do a quick wipe. This will not be a big issue. We 
are ready with coating the wheel inside and outside, and now it's ready to go back on the car. If you have any question regarding the coating on the wheel, write it down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ciao.